This is a really quick overview of how I modified the nose cone on my Estes Big Daddy. Um, excuse the mess, I'm in the middle of getting ready for a launch. Um, this is the normal Estes Big Daddy, except it's been modified with a Vanderberg um, 38 millimeter uh, um, motor mount and plywood fins. So what I did, I did what a lot of people do, is I cut the taper off the nose cone. But what I did is you can see how much of a how much room I have in there. All I did is I took a lock precision 3 inch thin wall coupler and a bulkhead and I split the coupler down the middle, cut out a section, grafted it back together with some thin CA and then as I used the inside of the nose cone as the uh, essentially the pattern, put some six minute JB weld down the inside. Be careful so it doesn't leak through and glue actually glue to the nose cone. Then once that's cured up, remove that, then take a normal three inch bulkhead, drill a hole in it, put your eye bolt in it, spin it in a drill to turn down its OD so it's smaller in diameter and slightly tapered um, so it fits up inside the nose cone. Obviously you'll need to cut your coupler at a very specific length. Um, I have two of these that I built and the length is exactly four and a half inches. So you cut the cardboard to exactly four and a half inches with a quarter inch bulkhead and it will fit. It fits very nice and tight up inside there and you gain literally just under four and a half inches of free space which is really really nice for when you want to take your ridiculously long casing and put it all the way up into the nose cone and still have room for your uh, for your chute and this is what I'm actually using for shock cord eighth inch Kevlar line uh, it's used for kites by Emma Kites you can get it on Amazon it's really cheap it's good stuff and then this really fits tight in here there's no weight up in the nose cone this actually provides quite a bit of weight, as you can imagine, uh, forward, so it pushes the CG forward. And if you want to, you can put just a couple washers on the top here to put even more weight. I don't glue this in. This is just pinned up here with a single two, number two um, nylon shear pin. It's just what I got because I got a ton of them. You just put it all the way up inside the nose cone so it's pinned in place. It's so tiny and white it'll never doesn't really show. And then if you ever want to, you just pull that pin out, pull this piece out, you can add or subtract washers.